Hi guys, good morning. Um, I have decided to go live today so that my viewers can um, kind of get to know me a little better. I had been cooking. I believe I started the channel last year, but um, since the COVID um, and we were all locked in, that's when I really dive into it and um, start getting more active. I changed my hairstyle also in the summer because I am doing so much yard work and, you know, doing the yard work and sweating. Like the other day, my son says to me, oh, mommy, you are sweating so much. I had never seen you sweat so much. So because of the heat, I change. And then I just can't keep up with the dyeing of the hair because I wash my hair so often. Um, this is really my natural texture so when I just wash it and leave it wet it's curly so I just decided to put some rollers in yesterday and then I get it like this so because I wash my hair so often I can't keep up with the dyeing so anyway um I just want to I just say listen I'm, I'm just going to try doing this um the live I do not have 1,000 subscribers as yet, so I can't um, I can't just go live from YouTube, but I'm doing it from my laptop, and um, I just figured that if it was from YouTube, it was, would have been much clearer. But I, I just have to make do with what I have. So. Just put it away from me so you can see me better. Okay, so now, um, what do we talk about? This is, um, this can be just about anything, any topic, anything. Um, if you guys want to ask me anything, you can. I don't see anyone on the live as yet, but as I say, it's the first time. And what do you talk about when you have a cooking channel and you decide to go on live? Okay, now, those of you who just are just, um, maybe just come across it while you are browsing on the internet, my channel is a cooking channel. But uh, because I do gardening in the summertime, I've decided that I'm going to put my gardening in there. So it's like now it, it's becoming like cooking and gardening. So um, I plant so much things in my garden that I have to look on something to tell you what they are because the space is not that huge, but I try to put a little bit of everything in. I, last year, um, when I planted the garden, I planted um, a limited amount of stuff and larger quantities. And one other thing that I really wanted to, to plant was callaloo. And I did plant the callaloo, but the the um, insects ate up all the color and I was so, so disappointed. So what I decide to do now is I am not going to plant the color because color you don't plant yet. Color is a little bit later because uh, the color seed didn't come up as yet. So I have to wait until they come up before planting them. But then I decide I'm going to plant these in pots this year. So this is what I am going to be doing. But in the little area that I have, I put them in different sections, like the seasoning one section, um, the tomato in another, um, and then, well, the onion and the, the skeleton, that's uh, seasoning also, but I put those in one bed. 
and I put like the pop chow in another bed. And, um, you know, I just section them off. And then in between, I leave an area where I can just walk through. So that's what I'm doing. So now what I plant is some of what I plant because some of them I don't remember. I would have to go back there and check because I, I left it, um, you know, those things that you get there with the, the tag or whatever you call that. I left those there because I want to, um, to, to be able to identify them because some of these things I don't, I usually buy them like dried um, in the, in the bottle or the container in the supermarkets. So I don't know what they look like when they're green. So now I left, I stick those things in there so that I can identify them. And I'm sure using the green is the fresh from the garden season is much better than when I buy the dried one in the supermarket. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Now, I know I put some of the things I plant, you would not believe I plant all those things in that small area, but I don't buy like many. I maybe buy one or two plants and I planted like sage, dill, parsley. Um, I have thyme on my, I usually keep the thyme on my deck. So I plant the thyme in a pot on my deck because when I step out of the kitchen, I like to go get my thyme. And I did plant some onions and it, on the deck. And I keep my mint on the deck also. And now this year I plant um, lemongrass because I love, I know you can, lemongrass is a season, but I just love lemongrass tea because when we were kids, my parents used to, my mother used to give us lemongrass tea also. And we used to call it, in Jamaica, we call it fever grass. So I have my lemongrass because I buy the lemongrass in the uh, in the pack, in the supermarket. I, right now, I, I know I went to this, um, I don't know if, what type of store it is, but then they sell everything in there. And I bought a whole lot of lemongrass because the store was like an hour away from me. So that was a good distance. And I said, you know what? I love this. And I don't, unfortunately, I love the area that I live in. I'm not going to dispute that. But when it comes to getting the things that I want, like the, the West Indian or Caribbean or, or Oriental things, um, to buy, I have to travel so far. So whenever I go anywhere and I see these things, I just pick up enough to serve me a month, two months, three months. You know, if it's fish, I get a whole lot and I put them downstairs in the freezer so that I, I'll have them, you know, um, I'll buy a hundred, two hundred dollars worth of fish and store it because it's not that I go all the time because to drive an hour to just go pick stuff up. I mean, some people will do it, but for me, it's not much fun, you know, to drive so far to buy food. So when I do go there, I always make sure that I pick up enough stuff. So. As I say, I plant sage, dill, parsley, thyme, onion, mint, lemongrass, tomatoes, kale, lettuce, oregano, and I plant in another bed, I plant Irish potato. So, that's it for the vegetable garden. And as I say, I'm an outside person. And Mother's Day went by and uh, on Mother's Day, I got a gift card. I got breakfast and I got a shear to share for lawn. 
So I, I, I had to laugh and, you know, I said to my, one of my sons, I said, you guys buy me here. He says, mommy, but this is what you love. Yes, because I can't, the electric shear, those shear that, I mean, the gardeners use, I have those too, but they're not um, convenient for me because they're not light, you know. So they bought me the lightweight ones that I can, one that I can walk around with. Even the one that cut the edge, it's, it has an attachment that cuts the edge also. So I can just sit down and, and um, you know, like sometimes they use the weed walker but sometimes I'm not satisfied and I can't use a weed walker. So if they leave a little bit of grass somewhere, I will go and I'll take my shear, which comes with it also, and I just manually use it with my hand. So they know because I'm so fussy when it comes to my gardening and my lawn that they decide to also, in addition to what they I got from others, they, they decide to just add those in. Because they say, oh, this is what makes you happy. So that's what we buy for you. Yeah. So this year now, every year I try to do a little bit. As I say, I love to work with my hands. Believe me, I love to work with my hands. And like last year, I did some painting inside. I need to paint the uh, the living room and the hallway now. And I don't. I have to be in the mood to do that. Um, but I need to change the color. I, I want to go with neutral color now. I did paint it myself in, in this color when it was wearing. So I want to go neutral. But I have to have that, that the drive. It, you know, my drive now is drive outside, outside, everything outside. Um, in the winter, everything was in the kitchen, cooking, cooking, cooking. And now I just want to do gardening, gardening, gardening. So um, I had some evergreen, there were some evergreen trees at the front, right under the window, and they were getting very old. And I, I just needed a new curb appeal. So I cut them down myself, you know. My son asked me, how did you get this down? I just, because I bought my own saw also. So I just, did the small branches one by one. The, the trunk is still in there, but you know, once that rot, yeah, I can just pull it out. So I'm not too worried about that. And like I go to the, I go and um, I got some mulch and I put it in my car and then my son drove up and I said to him, uh, I have something to take out of my car. So when he went to the car, he started arguing. Mommy, you know, I told you I will go and get it. But the thing is, is when I feel like doing something for my garden, I cannot wait until someone comes home from work to go get it for me. I have to get it right away. That's how I am. Anytime I feel like doing something, I just have to do it right away. So I cut the shrubs down. And I planted new shrubs there. And the thing is this, what I'm really bad about is that I know what plants I want. I know what they look like. And in my head, before I even venture into the store, I know what I'm going to look for. But the bad part is I don't know the names. I don't know the names. I just buy plants by how they look. And I think I will love to see in my yard. And I put it, I put in some new shrubs and it looks very good. And um, I had started buying annuals. So I have some annuals and no annuals. I, I, I'm cutting down on annuals. I must say um, I am beginning to do perennials more. So, um, and you know, perennials, some of them don't come up so early. 
this is why I used to buy annuals. So, but I know the space is going to be filled up. So I didn't do much of that. Um, and marigold, I have a lot of marigold. What I do in the winter time, I dig them up. I put them in the garage and come spring, they start springing again. So I planted a lot of marigold inside now because I have those and they haven't come up as yet. So when, when you buy the annuals every year, the garden start coming up right away because once they put the annuals out and you put them in, the garden, has, the garden starts looking beautiful. But when you have the perennials now, some perennials do not come up right away. So then you have to wait to see the beauty of the garden. And that's what I'm waiting to see this year. So, I'm just typing here. So, and, um, okay, so now that's, that's the project um, I'm working on. I, um, I got some evergreen trees as a gift also. My brother brought them for me last Wednesday, and he did help me plant them to the side of the house. Um, one side of the house I use a lot because it's private. And there's a fence there. The fence is not really mine, but when I moved here, the fence was already there. So, um, it's an old fence and maybe something needs to be done to it. But thank goodness that side is private. So I do uh, everything around that side. Um, I relax i plant my stuff around that side and when i want to sit down or anything that's the side i go to so that side looks a lot better than the other side that's not private i can't do anything there as i step out of my house somebody's tearing on me there's not a lot of fencing around here but these people next door they have the pool so i guess maybe that's the reason for fencing because they're the only ones on the street that has a fence only one house on my entire street has a fence and it so happened to be next door to me and believe me i love that and i appreciate that because at least because when i go on my deck i have no privacy because although the houses are not close, close, my neighbor can see me from, and, and the way they build the houses, they don't build them on the same, um, what would you say now? Like one forward, one backward, kind of one step like a backward, one step forward, and the street is not straight, it kind of go around in a circle. So. I can't see in his backyard, even from, I can't see his deck from my deck because it's so far back. But he can, when he goes into his backyard, he can see my, me sitting on my deck. So I don't have much privacy on my deck. So thank goodness I have the privacy when I go downstairs, I have at least have some privacy down there. So it's like, somebody peeping on you they have privacy but you don't have any because if that person is on their deck i can't see them but if i'm my deck and he come away in the backyard he can see me and it's just the same on the other side i can't just look straight on her deck i have to go way in my backyard to see her on her deck which gives her that privacy from one end but from the other end her neighbor can't see her. So the way they build the houses, it's kind of weird um, where you get some privacy, but you don't get total privacy. And I think maybe when they were building, they took that into consideration. They don't have all the houses 
on the same level, the same flow or anything like that to give people a little privacy. So now what I plan to do, my other projects that I plan to do, I'm going to, between this weekend and next week, more likely this weekend, I'm going to paint the rails in front coming up the steps i'm going it's in black and I'm, go, I'm going to change it to white and at the back door my deck doesn't have stairs going down but in the den that's where i have the stairs that go outside on a little platform and i am going to paint that but i think I'm, i might not paint that for the next two or three weeks and the foundation in the front, when I'm painting the foundation in the front, I'll just paint the the um the stairs and the and the platform to go outside where my back door is. And then and then I'm going to do a bigger project, a big project. And there are two things I want to do. One of them I want to um to to um to seal and to patch and seal the driveway. So I don't know if I'm going to get to it this year. I hope I do get to it because that would be like my final project outside, except my gardening on a yearly basis. But I am going to replace the siding outside. Uh, the the gentleman is supposed to come here today with the contract, and I am very excited about that. So, um, um I, I, <laughs> you know, my son says to me, I hope you know what you're doing because I have decided that I am going to do it in two colors, and I had been looking online and doing a lot of research online. And believe me, I've been through maybe hundreds of siding. I just research and research and research to see if this is possible because I like to decorate. That's, that's another thing I like to do. I like to decorate. I like to design and... Um, so I just want it to look really good. And, you know, this is why I just don't say, okay, look at my neighbor's own and, you know, um, and, and, and copy it and do it like that. I want to make sure when I do it, I'm comfortable with it because once I do it now, it's not going to be done anytime soon again. So. I am just making going make sure because the colors that I choose, um, I don't think maybe I'm not going to to be comfortable with it. So um, he's bringing the estimate this evening. So I told him when you come, make sure you bring the book that we change. We are not going to change material. We are going to going to change the colors. Um, I chose blue, but it's a bright blue, which I want to tone that down a little bit. I am not sure. You know, um, he told me that that's what, you know, people are going with now. And that's one of the reasons why I chose it. But then when I think about it, I really don't like uh, anything. I don't mind wearing it, but when it comes to, to exterior, I don't like it too bright, neither do I like it too pale. So I want it to stand out, but not stand out in the terms of it is so bright. And then once it is done, I might want not like it. So when you go with something milder, um, I think it's something that I can live with when it's milder. But when it's bright, 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 I don't think I'll be able to, to live with it. So I, I have to change the color. It's been resting on my mind, so I have to change it. 
So I just want to ask you guys to remember to like, to share, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, my channel is a cooking channel, but as I mentioned before, I like to do other things. So some of the projects that I'm doing in this in the summer, I will be posting it on my YouTube channel. At first, I thought about making another YouTube channel for it, but this is just summertime and it's just temporary. So I decided I'm going to include it. So now, and then, as I say, okay, last year I did a lot of work. I painted some of the rooms inside last year and I did some redoing and redecorating inside here. And my next, um, and I did put up new gutters last year. That was kind of a big project too because the whole gutters has to be torn down and then um, the guy who put the gutters up, those gutters are not really the normal gutter that you would see on houses because maybe it's the new type. He, the gutters are bigger and um, even the drain, the drain to the sides are bigger. It looks really nice. And, you know, even I got a couple estimates for the siding. And they all ask me who put the gutter up and that it and told me it was nicely done. So I was happy with that. And I did ask the guy if he could do siding and he says yes. But he brought me these fancy brand new books, which it looked like the books were never touched before. And he says he would come back with an estimate. For weeks we didn't hear from him. When we call him, he says he was going to get the estimates. And then again, he brought two different types. He bought what you would find in Home Depot. Um, when you just walk in the store and he brought me another book with, with much nicer ones. And then he told me the prices were different. But apparently he doesn't know what he's doing. At least he should have said to me, no, I don't do siding. And thank God he didn't come back. So I didn't pressure him because I realized something is wrong. Okay. Then these other guys came and they could give me an idea because of, from it, based on experience and the houses around here, they could give me an idea about how much it would cost. You know, and um, so I realized that. If I had used him, it would have been the wrong thing to do. So, uh, last year, no, I did the gutters and I painted the, I paint myself, I paint my the house in the back because I bought the long, very long, um, what do I call it again? The, um, the long stick and the roller stick. And I'm not that short, I'm five feet seven. And with the long roller stick, I stood at the bottom and I, cause the house is a um, split level ranch. So it's not that tall, it's not that high. So I just stood there at the bottom and I painted it. And then I painted underneath the deck and I paint the walls on the deck and I paint the deck, painted the deck floor myself to just keep me busy as I, I try to do everything, everything you can think of. And then, and then um, I did some epoxy also. I epoxy my bathroom um, counter and I epoxy my uh, uh, my kitchen table and they came out beautiful. You know, I just, plus other little things that I do around the area, like, you know, 
changing out curtains, moving around furniture, carpet. I just have to keep myself busy all the time, always, all the time. So, so I am just looking back to see if I can remember, if I'm able to remember um, some of the things that I do or some of the projects that I'm planning to do. Not to mention, I change things. I change the, the furniture around in the split of a second. I, as I say, I always have to be doing something. And not only that, I'm not, I do work part-time from home. And so in between all that, I try to, um, to drop that in. You know, as you see, I just, I heard like the text, so I just look over. I just don't want to make sure, I want to make sure I do not miss any text. So. Now, um, now for my YouTube and my cooking. Let me get to it here. Okay. And, um, Okay, and, and my YouTube channel, I'm just looking at it now where I posted um, on like planting of my vegetables and um, it was planting day and which on, on that day I planted most of my vegetables. So if you like gardening, or if you like eating vegetables, you don't necessarily have to just like gardening. If you like eating vegetables, it's, you know, you could really follow me. And if you don't have anywhere to plant your vegetables, you can follow me also. And just follow me and just imagine to yourself that you're planting and i i have quite a few videos to post and i did post one um when i'm doing the plant purchases when i went to home depot and then because i can't just go in to buy one plant i i'll go in to get one thing if i'm I like doing something for my garden. I'll go in to get one thing. And the next thing I know, I end up getting a whole lot of stuff. So I went to get the, um, the solar lights. And then I end up getting all these shrubs before I get home. So I did post that video also. Um, if you're watching me right now, just go back and take a look at my videos. And I show one where I was clipping the shrubs and I did not have that clipper that they bought me for Mother's Day. So that was a little bit clumsy because I was using one of those old fashioned clipper, which nobody uses anymore anyway. And uh, I guess that's it for the, the gardening. I guess maybe I'll flip back to it because gardening is my favorite more so than cooking. Cooking, oh, cooking is something that you have to, you cook it and then you got to watch what you eat and say, okay, maybe I shouldn't put more so much sugar or maybe I'm not supposed to eat so much sugar or so much salt or so much oil or, you know, there's always some form of restriction to cooking. But with gardening, none. That's where the fun is, none. And when you do like the gardening uh, for the, the vegetables, 
that's even better it's gardening is just a win 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 situation gardening gardening you can't go wrong cooking you have to think what am i going to cook um and especially for me who don't eat meat and i'm keeping this channel going without any meat which is good every day that i cook if i don't want to cook the same thing and you can't just get up and cook the same thing over and over and over every day because that becomes boring that becomes tiring and is all right i bought 70 dollars worth of fish my brother brought it up for me and the slices were so thick i mean too thick you know i don't know why they slice them so big so anyway um and so i divided it in it's six slices for seventy dollars can you believe that so i cook three slices and my son ate it on sunday yesterday he says i don't want it you know and um so then i have to think then i see he took some shrimps out and he went and he grilled the shrimp so that's um that's how it goes you have to think about what you're going to be cooking because i mean 35 dollars worth of fish to just have one meal and throw it out that's really a waste and i did not eat any last night because i didn't feel like having it either i think the way i cooked it was kind of maybe because i cooked it in the oven and it was so thick and that fish is um is sliced um um i'll tell you in a minute when i remember but that that fish is really for frying so um i didn't feel like frying i wanted to try it some other way and it did not come out the way i wanted it but then he says oh it tastes very good on that particular day but then he got tired of it and he didn't so and let me talk a little bit about my cooking now okay now i started off first i start cooking and then i start i, I start to bake now and I really get the gist of baking. I I know how the um, the mixture is supposed to feel and look. So now I find that I can bake things without looking at any recipe. I can bake things um, by just thinking that okay, I am going to. You know, I, I can be sitting here now and I just think about it and I say, okay, I'm going to use some planting and some banana and bake some cake. I don't need a recipe to do that. I can, so I go along, I can come up with my own recipe because the moisture and the the um the feel of the the, the cake or the, the the bread or even the cake. I know what it looks like. So, um, and that's a good thing. So I can do my own thing and, you know, it can be eaten and enjoyable. So the other day I baked some, I had, I was looking for something to, to fix, to cook. And I was just going through my cupboard and I found a, a box of cake mix and and I had a potato and I know I had it long so you know if I didn't use it up it would go bad so what I did is I took the potato 
and I, I grate the potato and I said, you know what? I'm going to try it with this cake mix. And I am telling you, it turned out to be one of the best pudding I had ever baked. By combining the cake mix and the sweet potato, it, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And, oh, I, my son loved it so much. But the only thing is, because I'm doing it for the first time, after a few days, it, um, it kind of got a little soft. So what I should have done, and then I threw it out. So what I should have done, I should have put it in the fridge. That's the only drawback. So if, if somebody on here looking at and going to be doing it now, they should just put it in the fridge. Because that, that because it's um pudding and it's potato pudding and 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 um cake mix pudding. If you put it in the fridge, it's not going to get hard. You know, it will be just right in another two or three days or whatever time that is. And I had, I did some almond flour pancake, but it, the, the, it came out beautiful, but I didn't post that one as yet. That's the next one I'm going to be putting out. I discovered something when, when I did the, the mixture and everything was good and I ate it and then I walked away and I left it on the stove, man. And I came back. This, this is how I, uh, I, you know, I'm beginning to more and more discover how to do certain things. And I came back. The stove was off, but the heat and with the heat and the heat get onto that thing and it baked it. And after I did the video and I walked away. I ate and I walked away and then I went back to the kitchen and the heat, just the heat alone, baked that thing and that thing was wonderful. So I had already put the video up. I took the video back down because I needed to, that step, I must put that step in because that was the most important step because I was trying this thing and I was pleased with it and I walked away and I came back and that thing was wonderful. So I, um, I'm going to redo that video again. So that's why you don't see that video up here. And then, um, Okay, I did a video, and I believe this video was live on cooked fried croaker. And I'm telling you, if you are a Jamaican, because, you know, I told um, someone about it. Every time I talk about croaker, and I'm talking to a Jamaican, they think I'm speaking some foreign language. But... When I fried that croaker the, for the, the first time, and I took a whole dish of croaker to a party, and everybody was just complimenting me. At that time, I was just learning to, to fry fish. Everybody was commenting, oh, this fish is so, you have to cook fish every time. And then I realized every time that I'm going to a party, they want me to to fry fish, to fry croaker. And while I'm here now and I'm saying this is, um, that was the first time I fried croaker, I have to give you a little story of history about myself and cooking. I am cooking now and I sent my friend a cooking video. And she called me back laughing like crazy. And she says to me, you are cooking? All right. Um, and then 
my sister needed to cook something that she got and mark you i lived with her since i was 14 years old because i had left the country and i was going to school in kingston so i stayed with her and she never introduced me to the kitchen because she had a helper who did all the cooking and one sunday she was on the veranda we call it veranda in jamaica on the porch and she i don't remember what she was doing and she was cooking some rice and peas and so she asked me to go and check it and i went and i filled it up with water and it got so messed up she was very upset and you know what she never sent me back to the kitchen and because she had a helper the only thing i did was to take care of my underwear i didn't have to do my laundry i didn't have to iron i didn't have to clean my room um and then we usually it's every day the table was all set with knife and fork and everything like that so i would just go eat and turn right back into my room i never wash dishes so and then now um after i moved from her then when when i started working now i used to go to work and and when i started working and live on my own i used to go to work and i used to have breakfast in the cafeteria at 10 and then i used to have lunch maybe around one and then um after that when i go home i would just snack and i mean i used to be very very skinny those times too skinny and i would have some ice cream and some milk for dinner until tomorrow morning again when i go to work and then on the weekends i would go to my sister house because she wasn't living too far from me and then i would have dinner so then i didn't have to cook but then this particular day i was having a guest over and the same friend that was laughing at me she was my neighbor from behind and i ran to her and i called and i asked her how do you cook chicken and she gave me the recipe of how to cook chicken and she gave me the seasoning to put on the chicken also but the one thing she didn't tell me was i should wash the chicken first and um i put it in the oven it came out jamaicans don't like their meat white it came out very white and raw but anyway my guest ate it and then I had someone else, a family member now living with me and was having a guest over. And at that time I had my son and he was just, you know, trying to walk around. And we've tried to figure out how to cook fish. And we left the fish on the stove and he came there and he pulled it off on the ground and thing after we put so much effort into it and tried to cook it so um my family member just took everything up and put it back in the pot for the guest because she didn't cook at her house she didn't learn to cook i did not learn to cook so there were two dummies there can't cook so um we had to do that so now just saying that to just say what i'm i'm, I'm trying to to get to here there's still people out there who think that i can't cook but now people who people who eat my food they marvel at how well it tastes like wednesday my brother was my brother and my cousin they were here and the first thing he came in he says hmm I said to him, you know, I am going to grill some chicken. And the first thing he says, you know, I don't like meat anymore. 
And um, because I always give him fish and when he comes up here and maybe he was expecting to get fish. So when I took it off the grill and he tasted it, he says, not remembering that I don't eat meat, he says, hmm, whatever is left over here, I'm taking it with me. I said, what, what do you mean you're taking it with me? He says, it tastes so good that I am this I have to take with me. So um, I said, you can take all you want because remember, I don't eat meat anymore. So that's when he caught up and, um, and then I did some stir fried and I did some grilled sa um, shrimp. And he says, and I'm taking that too. And I'm taking that too. I said, take everything. So from not being able to cook, to people enjoying my meals, that's a big step, you know? So um, I think I'm doing pretty good and I get more and more confident. When I first started the YouTube video, I was, um, I didn't have a lot of confidence because I didn't know what to cook, where to start, how to cook, when to cook. Well, I, I could cook. By then, I could cook. Last year, I, I could cook, you know, but my cooking was limited because of it's just fish and shrimp, fish and shrimp, and sometimes vegetables. So it was kind of limited. But then I have expanded and I have done other things, um, baking. Now, my signature recipe which I, I, you know, I, I want to mention this, I don't want to leave this out, is my jackfruit sauce. And I know a lot of people might not know what jackfruit is, might not have seen jackfruit before. But for those of you who know what jackfruit is, the jackfruit sauce is the best. When I say jackfruit sauce, I had to force people to think there. And now that I'm saying jackfruit sauce, um, my sister is coming by here on Saturday, on Friday. And I think I'm going to make the jackfruit sauce and um, and give, give it to her. So, and have her try it. I have to go out and get the okra and the recipe. But the jackfruit sauce is my signature cooking. And that's one that I would love for my viewers to try. Try that jackfruit sauce in my, um, on one of my recipe. And if you try that jackfruit sauce, if you know what jackfruit sauce is and you try that jackfruit sauce, believe me, you maybe would not buy um, anything to put on your hot dog or anything like that anymore um and then oh goodness that butter top bread woo, 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 woo. it is to die for you have to try that butter top bread i am telling you if you eat that butter top bread you would not want, um, you know, when you go to restaurants and they give you that hot bread before the meal. Whenever you have a guest over, I am sure you'd want to do that. And these things don't take very long to do. Because it's just like putting the flour together and, and like the butter top bread. It's just like three ingredients, four ingredients. You know, the milk, the milk, the, the butter the flour, and then you might put an egg in there, there are four things, and the yeast, I'll say three, and the salt, that's really five. And, and the butter, did I say the butter? That's six, six. I say three, then now I have six, what is really six? And, it, it goes by very fast. Um, 
very quickly. So it's not that you're in the kitchen baking all day. What takes a whole lot of time is the Jamaican patty, which I make with the vegan meat. Well, that takes a lot of time in the kitchen. And I think maybe that's why a lot of Jamaicans don't even learn to make it because it's like a two-step process. And each step takes time. And then you have to know how to, to make the dough also to get that crispy, like, um, like um, tasty patty. Although uh, um, a lot of people like Royal Caribbean, which is not so um, flaky. And... And um, uh, there, there, I have uh, about, um, I'm going up to maybe around 80 cooking videos now. If I'm not there yet, I'm close to that. And I'm not really repeating any YouTube videos. One, one video that really surprised me is the imitation crab meat video it's the most favored one of all the all of all my youtube videos and um it surprised me but you know to each its own uh so i might do another video of that one at some point in time and the Easter bun was another one. Yeah, the Easter bun. And I am planning, I am going to do the, the Bulla cake because I love Bulla. So that's one that I have to do. And... And and I did make a wheat bread and that that too, if you can get that recipe, that's um, one to make. And you can make your own homemade ice cream also. So guys, I am on almost an hour now. So this i had not been i have tried the um the live before and now i um i've decided that today i am not going to do anything outside or anything like that i was just going to do a live and see how it goes and I am on. I didn't think I would have been able to stay on the live so long. But yes, I did do that. And I'm on the live now. Almost an hour. So I am going to get off the live. But before I go, I just want you to remember to, if you like cooking, that's great. So then you can go through my YouTube channel and pick some recipes that you think you would like and try them. And if you don't like to cook, then you could go in, pick some out, and whoever does the cooking for you, you could let them try my recipe. So again, I want to thank all my viewers for tuning in um, and for those of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel thank you and for those who have not subscribed please remember to subscribe hit that notification bell show me some love and remember as I always say remember to subscribe to share Share with your friends, your family, those you you know, those who you do not know, even your 
enemies. Remember I say that once again? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you back here in my next video.